Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into sequential compression device or intermittent pneumatic compression devices. So let's start the video by looking into the beginning of sequential compression devices. Dr. Robert Utso, chairman of the Department of Surgical Oncology at the Fox Chase Cancer Center, has developed a compression device to extend DVT prevention in the post-hospitalized and or outpatient setting. The device easily attaches to the limb and is operated manually to generate sequential compression, decompression pressure without the need for electronic or pneumatic actuation. So what is DVT, or deep vein thrombosis, and what does it mean? Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot develops in one of the deep veins in the body. Without a treatment, a DVT can cause a potentially life-threatening condition called pulmonary embolism. PE, pulmonary embolism, occurs when a blood clot breaks off from a vein and travels to the lungs. Sequential compression devices, or SCDs, are a method of DVT prevention that improves blood flow in the legs. SCDs are shaped like sleeves that wrap around the legs and inflate with air one at a time. This imitates walking and helps prevent blood clots. What is a sequential compression device? Intermittent pneumatic compression, or IPC devices, are inflatable sleeves that prevent blood clots. You wear them on your calves, your lower legs, to help your blood circulate. A plastic sleeve slides over and past each foot. Then it goes around each calf and plugs into a small machine that makes it inflate. Another name for an intermittent pneumatical compression device is a sequential compression device, SCD, or an SCD boot. Let's look into the components of sequential compression devices. The major internal components of sequential compression devices are main PCB, pneumatics block, air compressor, and power supply. The main PCB controls the pneumatic valves and air compressor according to the settings and controls the air pressure movement and cuff. In the front of the device, you have a user interface panel which allows the user to control the settings. Some devices are also available with a wireless remote which can be used by the patient to adjust the settings as per their comfort. Now let's look into the different types of sequential compression devices. Two types of sequential compression devices, one SCD Express devices and second the simultaneous sequential compression device. The SCD Express devices for alternate sequential compression device group. SCD Express devices can provide alternate sequential compression with customized compression relaxation cycles in accordance with an individual's separate venous refill times in lower limbs. And the simultaneous sequential compression device can provide simultaneous sequential compression of both legs. This was the small and simplified video on sequential compression devices. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.